Hey guys, welcome to Universal Study Studio. So the topic for today is nutrients and food groups and that too grade 5 curriculum. So let's talk about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide us with energy. Unlike other nutrients, carbohydrates release energy very quickly. We consume carbohydrates in two main forms. Sugar and starch. Whole grain cereals, potatoes and sweet fruits like grapes and mangoes are natural sources of carbohydrates. Now let's talk about proteins. Proteins are bodybuilding foods. They help in repairing worn out tissues. Pulses, peas and soya bean are a rich source of plant proteins. Chicken, fish, eggs, milk and cheese are a rich source of animal proteins. Growing children and women who are about to have babies require a lot of proteins. Fats Like carbohydrates, fats are also energy giving foods. Fats provide more energy than carbohydrates or proteins. Our body requires fat in very small quantities. Excess intake of foods rich in fats makes us obese. Obese, I mean by if you can see these children over here, they're too fat. They're like, they've become couch potatoes and you can see how many noodles, chicken and all that type of things they're eating. That's made them obese. Excess carbohydrates are also converted into fats and are stored in our body. So there isn't another way around in this situation. Both ways you get trapped and you become these type of obese children or obese adults also. Butter, ghee, vegetable oil, cream, cheese and dry fruits are rich sources of fats. Vitamins Vitamins are protective foods. They don't provide any energy. However, they are essential for us as they help in preventing certain diseases. Vitamins are required in minute quantities. Fresh fruits and vegetables contain vitamins. Minerals. Like vitamins, minerals are also protective foods. Minerals perform a wide range of functions in the body. For example, calcium and phosphorus are essential for strong bones and teeth, while iron helps in the formation of red blood cells. Some minerals are also essential for the proper working of the nervous system. Fresh fruits, vegetables, milk, eggs, seafood and nuts are rich in minerals. Now let's talk about water and roughage. Now you'll be already familiar with what is water but have you ever heard this mischievous thingy over here now what is this mischievous thingy over here it's roughage it's like rough and age but normal people would say it's a rough age very rough age but i'm going to tell you meaning of rough age is actually the fiber that comes out of you know fibrous fruits like for example let's take the banana and the orange that you eat every day now, in the banana, you can see some white, white things which are covering the banana, which most frequently people take out and throw it in the garbage. That actually helps our body. And we're going to be learning about that in the next slide. So now, even though water and roughage have no nutrient value, they're essential for our body. Now, let's learn about water. Why is it essential? Why is it an essential component of our body? Why? Water is an essential component of blood and it also helps to remove waste from the body in the form of urine and sweat. Our body requires at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. Now let's talk about roughage. I was explaining a lot earlier. Now let's come to the basic meaning of roughage and what it helps us to do and what it does. What effects happen to our body? Mostly that. Roughage is the fiber present in the food. It helps in the removal of waste from our body. Green leafy vegetables, raw salads and fibrous fruits are a good source of roughage. Yeah, people don't like fruits. Take gummy bears instead. No, catch. There's a lot of carbohydrates, fats, obese children. It links everything. 
so i prefer you better just have this the standard pineapple banana and all types of raw salads like cucumber in them thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell along with that thumbs up button so you will never miss another video and i shall see you next time